Hi, thanks for clicking on my video and watching my stuff. Thanks. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a favicon. I have made, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, that's just the way I pronounce it, so I call it a favicon. <laughs> it's the cute little picture that's up on the side when you open up your website. Uh, you'll have a little picture. If you're in Internet Explorer, you're going to see the IE symbol up here, and you're not going to have a little picture. Now, to get this little picture up here, you're going to have to drop an ICO file. It's a .ico. .ico is the file extension, and GIMP is the best program to do it. I have made lots of money making these favicons, and... Uh, I'm going to start making generic favicons for this for the shop so that you can just go in there. You don't have to worry about working or creating it or doing any of this stuff. And it'll just be ready there for you to download. And you can just download, you know, whatever. I'll have alphabet letters and you can create your own little pictures. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... Uh, I'm going to open a picture... And I just happened to call it favicon because I, that's just what I called it to um, my, it's my little scissors from my shop, in case you don't recognize it. <laughs> uh, the background is transparent. Um, if you have a an image that does not have a transparent background, you need to and, and you want it to be transparent, you have to remove that background before you turn it into an ICO file. Um, so just, you can follow my how to remove a background off of an image video from my last set. And so this one has already had its background removed. I usually start with an image that is 100 by 100 because that way it sort of compresses it already into a smaller image and it doesn't, um, you're not going to get too much distortion because I notice a lot of distortion when I'm trying to just resize bigger pictures. Sometimes they just have to be redone completely. But see, this is what it's going to end looking like up here in the corner. When you type in my website, you do put in the scrapping.com and it goes up, and then here you're going to see this, and, and you can uh, add it to the little favorites column and all that stuff. And, and you're, I mean, it's just, it just makes your website look a little more professional, you know? Okay, so it's just that simple. Uh, it's a perfect square. Favicons are usually 16 by 16, but um, I found that uh, the Internet Explorer and Firefox and all that stuff can handle a 32 by 32, and it resizes it for you. So I always let mine resize it. So I'll just I'm gonna scale the image to, and then keep it together there, 32 by 32, and then click out. Let's see. See, it'll be a 32 by 32, and then scale the image. You still get the same size up here. I mean, it's still going to look the same. It's just giving you a little smaller image up here. Um, and then just file, export, and then you are going to call it favicon.ico. That is it. You save it to whatever folder you want to save it to, and then just hit export, and it's going to ask you, you know, it'll give you another. See, well, mine already exists, so I'm just going to cancel that, but it'll give you, you know, to export the, the export options that are, that pop up. And then, that's it. You export it, you save it to wherever you want it to go, and then you drop it into the root of your website, which is going to be yourwebsite.com, you know, forward slash favicon.ico, and that's where you'll be able to, to see it. And that's basically it for actually creating the favicon. And if you want to put a little picture in, some people put pictures of themselves, which is a little more complex because uh, it's such a small space up here, it cannot handle too much detail. So you really have to be pretty specific on what it is you're creating and something that has, does not have too much color variation is not far too detailed that it's going to get super distorted so that's basically it and if you want some pre-made ones I will have some in the shop I would say by the end of next week so check back subscribe follow do all that good stuff 
and stay happy. <laughs> All right.